In other news now, which uh, once again exposes the money-making racket of private hospitals, often putting the health of patients, our health at risk. There are private hospitals in Maharashtra not only been reusing medical devices, medical equipment, but also charging multiple patients for the same device. As many as seven private hospitals in the state have cases filed against them for doing this. In its inquiry, the FDA has found that these hospitals are reusing devices which are catheters, balloon catheters, guiding wires, which are all meant only for single use and that too without the consent, information of the patient. Our correspondent Disha getting us further inputs here. Disha, given the fact that you have close to seven hospitals under the scanner, we can only imagine how many patients would be affected by this malpractice here. Absolutely, sir. And here we are talking about seven biggest hospitals across Maharashtra, which includes private as well as charitable hospitals. Biggest names like Hira Nandani Hospital in Vashi, Vokart Heart Hospital in Nagpur. We also have Fortis Hospital in Mulund, which is in Mumbai. So all of these hospitals, a clear case of negligence was where these hospitals were seen using or uh, reusing the same medical devices uh, for angioplasty treatment. So, Seher, just for our viewers, for angioplasty treatment, there are devices, medical devices used like catheters, balloon catheters, guiding wires, which is used for this uh, treatment. But what we were given to understand, especially from this FDA inquiry report, which we have accessed exclusively here on Mirror Now and as per what the FDA officials told us is that these medical devices were used to the patient number one. It was again sent to uh, the uh, lab for sterilizing it and then again it was used for the second patient as well as third patient. So multiple patients were used one single device, same medical device where, where the label was clearly it was mentioned ahead that it is meant only for single use and single purpose. But all of these hospitals were seen using this mm -hmm. multiple times on multiple patients. This was one of the biggest expose by the FDA uh, Department of the Maharashtra State Government. Second most expose say what the FDA went on to say and what has been mentioned in the inquiry report said clearly points out to the fact that uh, the hospitals were charging mm -hmm. these multiple patients as well. For instance, if this uh, catheter product is bought by the per, uh, hospital uh, anywhere between five to seven thousand rupees, but that product is uh, MRP'd at the rate of twenty five thousand rupees to the patient number one, it is again reused and you are uh, uh, charged to the second patient uh, with an amount of 15,000 rupees. So all of these patients are also being charged. So these were the two major concerns of the FDA, uh, Sarah. And what we are given to understand, uh, there were raids that were conducted in these hospitals in the, uh, uh, last year in the month of uh, a March to April and that's where they discovered this uh, fact that how so many patients and we have also the case-wise right. details which is reflecting on our screens okay. right now that how case-wise hospital details we do have and All now right. sir last point right. that this on, particular they have five uh, cases we go, in fact taking that response that you've got us uh, hold your thought coming to you in just a bit the FDA minister speaking to us on this as well let's take a listen in it is a regular activity of FDA hmm. to inquire about all these things. And in this vigilance, we have in Bombay's art hospital, where mainly balloon catheter or guiding catheter is used. It has been inspected. We have a Jupiter in the art hospital, which is sterilized and reused. Actually, this is all. जो मैं जो मैंने बताया है बलून कैथेटर और साइडिंग कैथेटर ये मैक्सिमम इंपोर्ट ही होता है ये दो ढाई हजार तीन हजार लगभग इसकी कीमत रहती है लेकिन इस पे एमआरपी जो है वो बीस हजार पच्चीस हजार ऐसी लिखी रहती है अब कुछ इसमें डिवाइसेस में ये भी लिखा है नॉट फॉर रीयूज और कुछ पे लिखा है कि आप जो स्टरलाइज की जो प्रोसेस है you should you have to adopt the process of sterilize by ethylene oxide or whatever it may be jo jo bhi chemicals honge to ye sab jinhone nahi kiya tha un pe humne bure cases launch kiya ab fda mein hame adhikar hai ki drug and cosmetic 
एक्ट में सेक्शन 18 सी इसमें हम न्यायालय में खटले दाखिल कर दिया है बस हम उतनी कार्यवाही कर सकते बात ये नहीं कि हॉस्पिटल में कार्यवाही करें बात ये है कि ये रीयूज करने के बाद में भी कस्टमर को फिर से पंद्रह हजार बीस हजार दूसरे लोगों को इसका पैसा लगता है well this as you heard very clearly putting uh, putting the health of patients at risk by you reusing these devices which are only meant for a single use it's also a spread of infection causing internal infection but what about action against these seven hospitals where these findings are coming from is there an indication that you have the government taking any penalty or action that should be taken against these hospitals That's right, sir. Uh, uh, when we talk about action, particularly, what we understand is that all of these seven hospitals have been charged under Section 18C, which is under a uh, Drugs and Cosmetic Act of 1940. And under this Section 18C, what we are given to understand from the FDA concern is that uh, the, uh, they can be jailed up to three years. This is the punishment for these hospitals, and they have been charged. And now, of course, uh, uh, we will uh, very soon uh, come to know. About the hearing and all of that will take place very soon. But at this point in uh, time, sir, for the FDA, it was very important because they what they establish is the fact that this was happening for years and years now for in several hospitals concerned, be it private or be it charitable hospitals. So at the end of the day, it is the patient's right to get uh, uh, a quality treatment, to get devices which are only meant uh, first-hand devices, only meant for first-time use. So even when we spoke to the people concerns say uh, they say that if they are going to one of these biggest hospitals they just demand that the patient's consent should be taken and that is also what fda's concern was that the patient's consent was not taken if they are reusing these medical devices first of all these medical devices shouldn't be reused That's but if right. they do the they have to take the patient's consent and second most important point that they were really charging this decision sir. here that's right